guys welcome back to the channel if you are new around here hi my name is tyler i live with my husband elliot and our parrot minty and i'm sure you can hear him crackling in the background right now i like to create home lifestyle vlogs a few hauls and just some general chit chat so if that sounds like things you are into and enjoy watching on youtube then definitely hit the subscribe button and come along on this journey with me so today's plans are i'm just I have a few errands to run. There's a few things I need to pick up. It's going to be a very chilled out day. This vlog will either be one of two things. It will either be a like Halloween TK Maxx like look around. Depending on what my local TK Maxx has. Because they may not have anything. And I've decided that it is far too warm for me to be going all the way into Cambridge. So I'm going to be going to Huntingdon today instead. So it's still got TK Maxx, but it's quite a small one. So we're just going to go have a look and see what they have. If they have lots, great. Then I can do a... This can be like a, you know, Halloween shop around. If they have nothing, then this is just going to be a kind of spend the day with me vlog. <laughs> so, yeah. And that is the plan. It is quite warm today. I've literally just spent the morning going around the house. I've put some washing on because that has not been done in a while. And there is a lot of washing I need to get done. And the washing up because, again, that hadn't been done in a while either. I do need to hoover, but I am probably just going to do that later, to be honest, when I get back in. It is currently 11 o'clock. I haven't eaten or drinking anything or drank anything but i am thinking i'm going to get myself a starbucks out i think i want to treat myself to their if you haven't had their it's a mouthful bear with me here their white chocolate and pistachio iced shaken oat espresso latte i <laughs> They're, they're new drinks where it's like fucking 15 million words to order they brought out a white chocolate and pistachio version and oh my god it is dreamy you need to go to costco i think i'm gonna pick up like that tub of pistachio cream that everyone has and i'm gonna try and like make my own my own one at home i don't know what to do about the white chocolate i don't know if i have to just get like white chocolate like sauce syrup i don't know but i definitely want to try and make that home because it's good there is actually the sanitized market on as well it's only on until two o'clock i believe it's either one one o'clock or two o'clock so if i can make it to that then i will because it'd be nice to like have a little look around there but i don't know if i'm gonna have time to be honest there has also been a change of plan for next weekend originally me and Ellie were going to go to London if you would have watched one of my previous vlogs we talked about this we were originally going to go to London and do the jelly cat fish and chips experience thing now I know yesterday they released a statement to say that they've done like the booking you can do it a week in advance and everything but we were just kind of like it just feels like it's going to be too much still like i definitely want to go when the hype's kind of died down and when they have like steady stock and all of that stuff we're not doing that anymore we're delaying that for my birthday in october so we're going to go on a trip to london in october instead we still wanted to do something this weekend because it's been a while since me and elliot have really like gone out and spent the day together and kind of like have plans so really random how we got to this conclusion but we've always wanted to try wing stop and unfortunately our closest wing stop is in london and i was just scrolling through facebook as one does and milton Keynes actually has opened a wing stop so we were like oh maybe we could go Milton Keynes because it's been a while since we've gone to Milton Keynes we normally go to Milton Keynes every year in December because that's when we do like our huge Christmas shopping thing because they have like the Lego store Lush um and that's literally where we just like get all of our shopping done and then we go to Wagamama's for ramen afterwards that's like our little Christmas shopping tradition I wanted to go to Ikea because 
we are currently I don't want to say redoing our bathroom because we're not we're not there's no renovations happening we are just got some new furniture and we're just trying to get some new bits to make the bathroom seem a bit nicer and just utilize the space a bit better because it's not being utilized efficiently at all so I'm filming that whole process of us like trying to like give the bathroom a little makeover um, and there are a few things from Ikea that I think would be good like storage boxes glass jars stuff like that that aren't obviously going to be too expensive so we were like oh maybe we'll go to Milton Keynes then so the plan is we're going to Milton Keynes we are looking around the shopping centre part um I don't know if we're gonna buy that much to be honest with you it depends on what we see to be honest we're gonna go wing stop for lunch or like dinner or whatever whenever we're hungry and then we are going to go to ikea after that have a mooch around there and pick up the bits that i want to pick up and then we're going to go costco as well because there's a costco in milton Keynes. so there'll be three vlogs being filmed that day so if any of that sounds good to you ikea vlog costco vlog just an mk general vlog then those will be coming up um soon just because i'm filming so many in such a short capacity and obviously we'll have the lush subscription box and the monthly reset i think my plan is to change up my upload schedule a little bit so i'll still have my main monday ones but i think week after i'll have my main upload on monday and then I'll also do another upload on the Thursday, just so you're not having to wait weeks for vlogs. And I still want them to be somewhat relevant, if that makes sense. So I don't want to wait like three weeks for you to see the MK vlog when I'm filming it next weekend. So that's the plan for that, just because there's a lot going on and there's going to be a lot of vlogs to go up. So yeah. There's like future plans, all of that stuff. Have all the Stanley dupes here. This is the brown that me and Ellie have. It's a really good dupe. They're so cute. You got pomegranate, vanilla maple, pumpkin spice, chai tea. Very nice. Don't need any lip balms though, but very cute. How cute are these bubble tea sets? Go for a peach bubble tea right now. How cute are these? Little pineapples. So many cute vases. This one's gorgeous. Wow. So like cats hasn't got a little have a few autumnal like wreaths. Look at this one. Mm -hmm. Got like little teeny tiny ones. They're quite cute. The thing is, our door is so awkward to have wreaths on. So I never really do. Doesn't look like it's the biggest amount of Halloween stuff though. But we can have a little look around. All the notebooks, notebooks go all gift bags, cards. To be fair, tissue paper here is really good. It's a really cute tissue paper. So look at that. So beautiful. A few bits creeping in. We've got like some napkins. This brand, Cupcakes and Cashmere, is a really good brand. Um like pumpkin. A ghosty and a bat one. It's not really seen, it's just in a lot of summery stuff I think they're trying to work through. But these, these are so cute. How much are they? No, 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 it's not too bad. Oh god, you got the pink ones as well. My first sign of fall stuff. Got some really cute glasses. Look at that mug. It's actually um 3D textured as well. And you got some sunflowers, wine glasses. That's 
it's absolutely adorable. Yeah, not a lot. There's some stuff. I mean, how much is this? $3.99. This one, $4.99. Very, very cute. Very tempted by that. Got some cute table runners. You got like a leafy one. You got this one. Definitely seeing a lot more of these colours this year. Yeah. Cute. Oh my golly gosh. He is huge. Oh my god. I'm going to try and zoom out so you can try and see. This is my hand. These are absolutely huge. Only £30 to be fair. Which for the size doesn't seem that bad. You got like this cute blanket. I don't think there's really any other blankets. Oh, I turn around and I find some. Got this fluffy one. This thick black one. I think that is really it though. Yeah. Here we go. Got some more pillows. I've seen this one everywhere. And I think this one's quite popular as well. Got that. Day of the Dead. Oh. You can only find a few tea towels. You've got like this one which has got moths and then skulls. I really like the moth one but I don't like the skull one. It really annoys me. You've got that one. You've got like skeletons. But it's not really a lot to be honest. I think if I go digging I might find some, but definitely nothing jumping out. Oh, I got some ghosty candles. They're so cute. Anything by DW Home. They had the second brand called Goodies, but anything by DW Home. It's really good if you have pets. I think someone's down there. Spider-Man Potion. Moon Magic Galaxy. We've got like some ones up there. Cashmere saffron. Pumpkin. Oh, very cool. It's not the biggest selection of of candles to begin with, so it's actually quite a good collection of, of Halloween ones. I'm just looking to see if I can find any more, but I don't think so. I think that was all of them. These are quite cool. You could definitely decorate them to be like Halloween-y. Really, really cool though. And they are seven ninety nine. Got like a little pro. Not really a lot though. R.O.P. statue. Yeah. It's not a lot, but it was to be expected. They're a bit early still. I think there's more pillows here. You've got this one, just the the raven one. Um, you got some fluffy bats up there. We actually got a bat one last year, so we don't need another one. But yeah, not not a lot. Let's go to the, the towel section. See if they've got anything. That's any dog things either. Not Halloween, but very cute. Um, you got like a sparkly one. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't think there's anything else, guys. Also found zero coffee syrups. I was hoping they'd start having them in by now, but apparently not. Ugh, why are they such cute? Cute ones, but it's not the season anymore. Get out of here. Yeah, just a lot of flowers. Oh, take it back. Found one. Little ghosty boy bath mat. 9 dollars 
<gasps> no. Oh my god, it's friggin' mushrooms. 999. That is cute. What else do we have? I'm intrigued now. Was that it? That was it. <laughs> Found some things. And these are the only bed sheets. It's not even bed sheets, it's a tablecloth. Yeah, it's not, not the hugest amount. But definitely getting stuff in. But again, this is quite a small TK Max. So it'll likely take a while. Not like him. Yeah. Let's go downstairs and see if we can find anything else. Look how gorgeous this vase is. Oh gosh, don't break it. It's like the perfect autumnal colour. You got these little like gnomey houses. That's really cute. Twelve ninety nine. Cute. First pumpkin. Five ninety nine. Yeah. That's pretty much it. The only mug I found is this one with little ghosties on for four ninety nine. I just got some more of the glasses again. Phew, I've not seen them. Got this one as well, a little boo. This duo pack. Got this duo pack here. Some more mum and baby ones. Yeah. There's a few things, but not, not a massive amount. I'm trying to see if there's any more mugs that look interesting. But I can't see any. Yeah, I think these are going to be very popular, these ones. So they had similar ones last year that also were very popular. I'm going to try and see how much they are about breaking it. $7.99. That's not too bad. I just wanted to show this because I don't think I've seen it on anyone else's thing. It's, it's pretty cool. But also, what the hell is it? Not the biggest success in TK Maxx, but there's a next right next door and they only have a small home section. So I thought we could go have a look and potentially see if they have anything in there. But again, I doubt it. And they do, the music's quite loud in here, so I'm gonna have to try and speak quite loudly. <laughs> but, oh, next. You are blessing my heart. Oh, it's so cute. Fat gonky. This is adorable. Look at it. Oh my god. Super cute cushions as well. You got like this fluffy thing. That's cute. I haven't seen these either, these are really cute. Oh. Like a pumpkin diffuser, hatted one, candle. Also, just found these ones. So you've got this one that's a glass one. And that one which is a cute little ghosty on. And then to your actual pumpkin one. Yeah, so cute. I mean, that one's cute, but wrong season phasing it out i am back from my lovely little trip out it was actually a really nice morning little few hours out i had a little mooch around i didn't really get anything bar what i was going to get anyway I didn't get anything from nix or tk max none of that stuff they didn't really have anything that i was after so potentially when me and elliot go to milton keith next weekend that's when we will pick something up i'm also surprised how well my makeup has lasted Right, time to show you what I picked up. I just have a meal deal because it was just quick and efficient and easy and it means I can just sit down now and have it and not have to like cook or make anything. So I've got a Coke Zero Lemon. I thought I'd give this a try. It's a Grey's Honeycomb Oat Boost. It's three flapjack fingers. That sounds nice. I may actually have that later because I'm not actually too hungry. I did get my Starbucks, the white chocolate pistachio, oat shaken espresso, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Really weird. A 
big old sweet potato. We now we're doing we are doing chili tonight and then we're doing the leftover chili with jack potatoes tomorrow. I think maybe this was a bit too big for one person as a jacket potato. But it was either this or it was teeny tiny piddly ones that were like this thick, which isn't really gonna do a jacket potato, so yeah. I mean Yeah, they're about the same, so yeah, we'll see. <laughs> My main for pasta, I just got, I'm surprised it hasn't exploded, to be fair. It hasn't exploded, but almost there. Um, tomato, basil, chicken, whatchamacallit. Oh, I think it did explode a little bit. There are a little bit of markings, it's fine. Um, I also saw these, because Sainsbury's had these on offer, and I've always wanted to try them, because I like having like a fizzy drink, but I don't like having like fizzy like we'll have like coke zero and stuff but i want to i want to be a sparkling water girl i want to be a flavored sparkling water girl so they had sainsbury's had these reduced to two pounds and i think they're normally like 375 or something so i picked up this flavor which is blood orange and mango it sounded like the nicest flavor it was either this or their like blackberry one but i think that's going to be a lot nicer that's everything from Sainsbury's. From Boots, I picked up some more of my skincare. So have another um, moisturizing SPF cream. And then I picked this up because they had it. Um, it's the Melting Balm Cleanser. So I'm gonna give that a try. Probably just when I have makeup on like today, just as like a second cleanse, and then I can go in with the normal jelly cleanser and hopefully that's really gonna help my skin out they did have like they have like a retinol oil which i think i want to pick up i kind of want to build my collection so that i can cater my skincare to how my skin is and the only other thing we got was from b m elliot has a thing where he tries all of the monster flavors and all of the red bull flavors and i saw these ones and they're bigger cans than the normal ones you get and i don't know if he's had this one or not because i don't i don't think he has it's forest fruits flavor and that's literally everything <laughs> that is my haul of the day definitely not a lot but i didn't really need to spend a lot of money it was literally just made to get my skincare just have a little mooch around. I was actually pleasantly surprised by how much there was in the TK Maxx I went to because it is a very, very small TK Maxx and the homeware section is literally like a quarter of the top floor. So I was quite impressed with what they had. I'm excited to go to Milton Keynes next weekend because I'm hoping that they're going to have a lot more and then potentially that's when I will pick some stuff up. It'll probably mainly be candles. I really want to get some more coffee syrups. TK Maxx, can you please just freaking <laughs> bring up some coffee syrup flavours? Do you guys remember the days where you could literally get all these really weird flavour coffee syrups? I'm hoping that they're just trying to get rid of all the old stocks so they can bring in all the cool autumn flavours like pumpkin spice and all that stuff because I want that. I want that. But yeah, so that was our little trip out. I didn't end up going to the market because I just didn't have time to go to the market. But I need to do some more laundry because I'm trying to get that all done and dusted. And then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna sit and have my food and a little sit down and a little, little, little cuddle and play with Minty because bless him, he doesn't like being locked in his cage. I think from where I work from home pretty much all the time now when i do go out he he hates it he doesn't like being in his cage bless him so he gets like in a bit of a in a bit of a tiz when i let him back out when i come back and he's a bit grumpy with me understandable i don't want to be locked in a cage as well but it's also that he he's not dealing well with like the frequent weather changes right i'll catch you later